in this tutorial i am going to discuss a programming problem which is valid parenthesis so the problem statement is given a string containing just the characters or you can say following three type of brackets we have to write a code to validate whether an input string is valid or not an input string is valid if open bracket must be closed by the same type of bracket so if the open bracket is of this type then the closing bracket should also be of this type this is valid but if the uh, if you see the second example in which open bracket is of this type and the closing bracket is of another type so it is invalid now the second condition is open bracket must be closed in the correct order so if you see this string you can you can clearly say this is invalid why so first we have open bracket is of this type then we have open bracket is of this type then this bracket should be closed first but the next character is of bracket of this type so it is invalid the third point is empty string is also considered valid so let's see the examples so the first input is invalid so why it's invalid so if you see this string up to that point is valid but if you see this bracket so the closing bracket is there but its opening pair is uh, missing now let's see the second example so second example is valid if you see these two points all the uh, all these two point is satisfied in this example so open bracket is closed by the same type of brackets and also uh, it is in correct order now let's see the third example which is invalid so if you see <laughs> the order is incorrect here so this is the problem statement and now let's think for a moment how we can solve this problem efficiently we can efficiently solve this problem using stack data structure now suppose we have this input string and we have to validate whether this input string contain valid parenthesis or not how we can solve this problem using a stack so our first step is to traverse this string and pick pick each character at a time and if the current character is a starting bracket a starting bracket of any type simply push this character in a stack now if the current character is closing bracket closing bracket of any type and and the top of the stack is a starting bracket of that type then pop from this stack and after complete traversal if a stack is empty then it has then the string has valid parenthesis else it's not now let's uh, see let's visualize how uh, this process is going to happen so the first character is opening bracket of this type simply push them in a stack now the second character is also opening bracket of another type so simply push them in a stack the next character is closing bracket and if you see the top of the stack also contains an opening bracket of that type so what we do is we pop this character from a stack so let's pop them from a stack so we have popped this character from a stack now the next character is of a closing bracket and and if you see the top of the stack contains the opening bracket of that type so what we do is we pop this character from a stack and now the traversal is complete and if you see we have an empty string so it has valid parenthesis now imagine let's validate suppose this is str string it has invalid it contains invalid parenthesis so the first character is opening bracket so simply push them in a stack then second character is also an opening bracket push them in a stack the next character is a closing bracket and if you see the top of the stack so it's an op it 
it has an opening bracket of another type so we can't pop from the stack we simply push this character in a stack now the next character is a closing bracket and if you see the top of the stack it also contains a closing bracket of another type so simply push them in a stack so now the traversal is complete and a stack is not empty so it has so this string contains invalid parenthesis so this is invalid so this is how we can solve this problem and if you see the code so here I have declared a stack a stack which store character and I am traversing a stack I am traversing a strings and if the if the character if the current character is of opening opening bracket of any type I simply push them in a stack and if the stack is not empty and if the current character is closing bracket of any type and <coughs> and the top of the stack contains opening bracket of any type simply pop the current character from the stack else push the current character in a stack and after complete traversal if a stack is empty so it has valid parenthesis else it's not so this is how this how we can solve this problem in o and time complexity using a stack and if you see the main method in which I have declared a string and I am calling this method is valid in which I have passed this string to validate whether this string contain valid parenthesis or not and if I run this code you can see uh, this string is invalid so the output is false so uh, that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video